Special thanks to Patreon supporter Assassin's Creed for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, scared to for here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the MIM-104 Patriot. The MIM-104 Patriot is a surface-to-air missile, or known as a SAM, system. The primary of its kind used by the United States Army and several allied nations. It is manufactured by the U.S. defense contractor Raytheon and derives its name from the radar component of the weapon system, the AN slash MPQ-53. At the heart of the system is known as the phrased array, tracking radar to intercept on target, which is an acronym for PATRIOT. The PATRIOT system replaced the Nike Hercules system as the U.S. Army's primary high to medium air defense system. It replaced the MIM-23 system as the U.S. Army's medium tactical air defense system. In addition to these roles, PATRIOT has been given the function of U.S. Army's anti-ballistic missile system, which is now Patriot's primary mission. The system is expected to stay fielded until at least 2040. So yeah, a really awesome uh, missile launching system designed to take down aircraft and also uh, ICBMs, which is kind of cool, or uh, just ballistic missiles really in general. Um, but yeah, really cool uh, vehicle, and we don't really have too many of these kind of air defense type weapons for the modern age. And I think this is a amazing addition to that lineup, especially for our Modern Warfare section. So um, we have obviously the two versions here. We have both the transported mode and also the deployed mode. Uh, I do hope to release some equipment for this later on, like including the radar system and the command vehicles and stuff like that that do um, kind of coincide with this tutorial or with this, uh, you know, weapon system and all that. But yeah, really cool looking design here and going to be, again, an awesome addition to any of your um, bases or just anything as a good kind of anti-missile defense kind of platform or anti-aircraft platform. So pretty cool stuff. Um, before we go and jump in and take a look at it, I want to go ahead and give social links to Patreon supporter Assassin's Creed for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more than you guys already do, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the video description where you can go and pledge a small amount to the channel every month. And in doing so, earn a vehicle request you're choosing for each month you are a patron. Really helps support the channel and the work I do and is obviously very much appreciated. So definitely feel free to check it out. Again, link is always in my video descriptions. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and kind of dive in here to take a look here at the missile system and kind of going from there. So, starting off with, we have obviously the deployed version. Um, so, this right here has the missile systems kind of uh, at an angle here, aimed upwards as they would be to be able to fire uh, the, uh, basically the missile. So, pretty cool. Uh, they're kind of in these pods, uh, which are really cool looking and are actually interchangeable as well. So, really cool stuff. Um, so, that's basically this one. And we have the trailer here, which houses all the generators, the um, equipment, obviously, to operate the missiles, like computer systems and all that stuff. It also has the uh, hydraulic legs that come down and stabilize the trailer. And same thing on the back here as well. So, a uh, really cool looking design. I really do, do love the, um, the kind of in uh, attack position uh, lineup. I think especially having a lot of these in one area is going to look so sweet. Um, and then we also have the toad version. So this right here has the hydraulic legs kind of uh, raised in the upward position and it has the missile pods lowered and kind of resting here on the trailer. So again, you'll have both uh, basically designs to build and we're gonna be doing both of these in the tutorial. So you'll be able to kind of pick and choose which one you wanna go for. Uh, as I said, it kind of depends on your scenario. If you're wanting to make a convoy and wanna include this, you can uh, be in toad. And one thing I do want to mention is if you are doing the towed version, we do have this truck here. Now this truck here is the M983 Hemt, uh, which is basically a, uh, you know, super heavy kind of semi-truck in this general kind of sense. Uh, I will be doing a tutorial, a separate tutorial for it, um, so you can expect to see that, but just keep an eye out for it. And then once that becomes available, I'll probably put some kind of link in the description or a card or something like that. But just note that this is the truck you guys will want to use to attach that vehicle. And we'll talk about how to position this uh, for making it to towed version a little bit later. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into our tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Also, real quick, before we go and move into the tutorial, I want to cover a few things. Um, right here, you can see what the truck looks like attached to the um, kind of towed version. So it looks pretty cool. And... Um, fits pretty nicely and then we also have the version here where it's attached up to the rocket system itself 
Um, so you still can keep these connected if you do want to. Again, kind of up to you guys on what you want to do. But I think it looks super sweet with the truck attached and the missile system engaged. But again, you do have the options of kind of choosing between which of the four you really want to do. And um, yeah, let's with that, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into our tutorial where we start off with layer number one. Now, to real quick kind of uh, clarify a few things for this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and structuring it as if we are building just the base trailer alone. And then we're going to go ahead and move into the sections, which are going to cover basically what to add on for the deployed version and what to do for the landed version. So we're going to be basically building the bare bones section of the trailer and then going back and adding our rocket pods and also our um, kind of stabilizing legs to it. So that's just one thing I want to throw out there as well. One thing to also mention is that for the truck, if you do want to have the truck attached to this vehicle, we're going to be starting with these two trapdoors for our first layer. Now we do want to make sure that we have a block of space from basically those trapdoors in the back of the truck. So this block here of yellow representing the space and then this right here is the back of the truck. So it is pretty close, um, but just make sure that you have plenty of room in front for basically building the truck. And uh, when I do go to do the truck tutorial, I will probably uh, most likely rem remember to uh, you know, clarify like how much space you need from the back there and all that stuff again, but make sure you have this space kind of marked off knowing that that's where the base of our truck is going to go. Anyways, from this point here, we're going to go ahead and place down two birchwood trapdoors of space in, in between them. We're going to go ahead and then place down a trapdoor coming off the backs of those blocks just like so. Also one thing to note that is that they are on the top portion of the block and not raised up to this level. So you can see here the difference, they are on the top portion of the block like so. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and then take our blocks and we're going to go ahead and skip a space back. So we're going to go, ahead and go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 blocks back. So just like this. And we want to go ahead and then place down a row of 3 of smooth sandstone top slabs. So again, this right here is a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 from those trapdoors. And we have our row of 3 of smooth sandstone top slabs. We're going to go ahead and place down a polished blackstone upside down stair to both sides and also or sorry, it's going to be facing this direction. So a stair like this to both sides, and then there upside down stair coming off the back of those stairs, like so. We then want to go ahead and place down a birchwood sign on these two sandstone slabs here to either side. And then going back from this, we're going to go ahead and then place down a smooth sandstone top slab in the center, followed by a skeleton skull to both sides, followed by a row of three of smooth sandstone top slabs, a polished blackstone upside down stair, to both sides, and then there's stair coming off that stair, like that, going toward the back. We're also going to go and take our birchwood signs and place down birchwood signs on the sides of these two slabs, like so. Now, once we have that all done, that's pretty much it for the base layer here. Again, we're going to be going ahead and adding the uh, kind of hydraulic legs and sort of hydraulic stabilizers and all that stuff later on. So, uh, you know, if you're wondering why we're skip on that that is the reason why so this is what we should have here for a base layer to begin with and this right here is going to finish off layer one and with that we're going to move into our next layer layer number two all right guys moving on to our next layer we have layer number two for layer two to go ahead and begin with we're going to go ahead and go to this these two trap doors here we're going to place down a sideways uh, stripped birch wood log on the sides there in the space in between them we're going to place down a sandstone top slab like so we also want to go ahead and skip a space or actually we're going to go off these blocks out to both sides and then go one more block forward like this we're going to go then place down a birchwood trapdoor on both these blocks and then we can go and delete these two placeholder blocks so we have a design that looks like this in the front here i'm also going to delete these blocks here as uh, they're not really needed anymore so we can go and get rid of those so we should have something that looks like this here in the front again make sure that there is a block of space like so once we have that done, uh, we want to go and then place down a sandstone, or row three of sandstone top slabs. And on both ends, we're going to place down a sandstone wall, followed by an item frame on both sides, and then a smooth sandstone block in those item frames. And this is going to be universal for all of our hydraulic lifts, so this is just kind of a marker that we're going to come back to later to add our hydraulic legs and stuff like that. After we have that done, we're going to place down a smooth sandstone top slab in the center here, followed by a stripped birch wood log, again to both sides. We then want to take our uh, smooth sandstone top slabs. We're going to place down one, two, three down the center here. And we're going to then place down a row of one, two, three smooth sandstone full blocks. And then a narrow row of three out the side. Same thing over here. One, two, three. One, two, three. We're going to then take our birchwood trapdoors. We're going to place down a birchwood trapdoor on the two blocks here on the sides. 
In the block in the center here, we're going to place down with a tri or place a trip bar hook on the side of it like so. Once we have that done, we're going to take our smooth sandstone top slabs again. We're going to go, and go to the center spaces. We're going to place down a row of three of smooth sandstone top slabs, followed by a second row of three, a third row, and then we're going to go and finish this off with a uh, row of three of smooth sandstone full blocks. Now, once we get to this point, we're going to go and then go to the sides here. We're going to place down iron trap doors on these two smooth sandstone top slabs, so like that to both sides. We're going to also go to our stairs here. We're going to place down two polished black stone stairs on top of each one of these stairs like this to go ahead and make our wheels. So just like that. And then we want to go ahead and place down a smooth sandstone block here in the center. A stone brick wall to both sides. We're going to go ahead and place down another smooth sandstone block there in the center. And this time we want to go ahead and grab ourselves an anvil. And we're going to place down the anvil on top of that skeleton school like so. And also a birchwood sign on the side of the anvil like so. We're going to go then place down a stone brick wall, again to both sides here, smooth sandstone block in the middle, and we want to go and then place down a row of three of smooth sandstone blocks going across. When we get to this point, we're going to go and place down a birchwood log to both sides like this, and then a smooth sandstone block again in the center. Uh, we then want to go ahead and take our smooth sandstone blocks, we're going to place down a row of three again across, and this time a sandstone wall to both sides. An item frame on both sides of the wall, to the sides and we want to go and then place down the same thing over here on this side as well and iron frames or in those iron frames a smooth sandstone block like we did for the uh, forward legs up there then on the very back here uh, we want to go and place down a uh, sandstone wall in the center followed by a stripped birch wood log like that to both sides uh, coming off this stripped birch wood log we're going to place on an iron frame to both sides and sign over the iron frame like so and then in those item frames we're going to place down red stained glass to go ahead and make our brake lights here for the trailer. And once we have that all complete, the last thing we need to do here is to go up here to these stairs and we're going to place down a birchwood trapdoor coming off these stairs like that for basically fenders over the um, kind of wheels here for the trailer. And then uh, the last thing, uh, the very last thing to do is to go ahead and make these banner wheels. And I'm going to go ahead and move into showing you guys how to make those. Alright guys, so moving into these banner wheels. To make these wheels, we're going to need two black banners, two gray dye, four black dye, and obviously a loom. We're going to go into our loom, we're going to place our black banners into our loom and our gray die. We're going to select our first banner with the line on the left side here with our gray block or gray die, and that's going to be our first banner. For our second banner, we're going to do the opposite, so we're going to select the line over here on the right side. And we have both these banners complete. We're going to go and put whichever one back into our loom first, and we're going to take our black die and put it into our die section. We're going to select the line across the top here of black die, and then the line across the bottom. And that's going to create this wheel design. We're going to go and do the same thing here for this banner. So line across the top and line across the bottom. And we get these two banners that look like this. We're going to go ahead and place these banners here on the two uh, polished black stone stairs, just like that. And this right here is going to kind of give them a little bit more detail to our wheels. So it should look just like that. And once we have that all complete, and that is going to basically wrap up what we have there for layer number two. And with that, let's move into layer number three. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three to go ahead and get started with here, we want to go and go to the section on top of these uh, birchwood logs here in the front. We're going to place down a birchwood slab to both sides, and then coming off those slabs, we're going to place down an upside down smooth sandstone stair, and then one upside down smooth sandstone stair there in the center. From that, we're going to go and go up from these birchwood trap doors with one more trap door. On top of it, we want it opened up the same way. We then want to go ahead and skip a space going forward. So for this, I'm just going to go and grab some, uh, you know, blocks that we can easily tell apart from the build. And we want to go and just go off the stair one, two, three. So the center stair, we're going to go one, two, three forward, and we're going to place on a polished black stone top slab. Now, if everything lined up correctly and you build the truck with it, this top slab should be in this kind of space right here. So uh, again, if you are building the truck, just take that into consideration that that top slab is going to fit in that section right there. Anyways, we can go ahead and then delete these place our blocks as we don't need them anymore. Once we have uh, that done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a uh, anvil, which is going to be going back from these two slabs like so, and then a birchwood top slab between the anvils like so. On both sides of this top slab, we're going to go ahead and place down a birchwood sign, and then also a birchwood slab on these two uh, strip birchwood logs like so. Once we have that done, we're going to then place down a row of three a smooth sandstone blocks going back from those slabs, and then a row of three that comes out to the side here, like so. And actually, the middle two blocks here are actually going to be 
uh, sandstone walls. So you have two uh, smooth sandstone full blocks, two sandstone walls, and two smooth sandstone full blocks. And we're going to go ahead and go over here to this side and do the same exact thing. So just like that. Once we have uh, metal complete on the inside here, uh, we're going to go ahead and just take iron trap doors. You're going to place down your row three of iron trap doors like that down the center. We then want to go ahead and place down a narrow brick fence post on both sides here. We're going to go and then grab ourselves a birchwood fence post and place down a birchwood fence post to both sides. And then in the very center here, we're going to place down a polished black stone or uh, black stone brick slab. And then we're going to go and then take those uh, slabs and go out to the sides here like this. And then one in the middle there going back. We then want to go ahead and place down a row of three of smooth stone upside down stairs that go across. So just like that. And then a smooth sandstone stair to both sides on top of the stairs. Once we have that all complete, we're going to go and then take our uh, smooth sandstone. We're going to place down smooth sandstone top slab here to both sides. We then want to go and place down two virtual trap doors back. And then a smooth sandstone stair on top of this um, blackstone stair just like that. And once we have that all done, uh, we want to go and then take our smooth sandstone and we're going to fill in the center space here. So we're going to place down a row of three of smooth sandstone across, a second row of three. And then once we get to this point, uh, we're going to place down a smooth sandstone stair to both sides and then an anvil there in the center. We then want to go and take our smooth sandstone and we can go and just place down in our row of three of smooth sandstone across like so. When we get to this point, uh, we want to go and then place down a uh, smooth sandstone block here in the center and then a smooth sandstone stair coming off both sides like so. After that, uh, we're going to go and then take our birch wood top slabs. We're going to place down a row of three of birch wood top slabs going across, a birch wood sign coming off the center top slab, and then we want to go and very simply just place down a skeleton skull um, on top of these stripped birch wood logs to both sides. And once we have that all complete there, um, that's going to pretty much do it for this uh, for this layer. Uh, one, yeah, that's actually going to do it. <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's anything I'm missing, and nope, we're pretty much good to go. So this right here is it for layer number three for the build. And looking at it from above, this is what it should look like so far. Anyways, that right there is going to do it for layer number three. Let's move on to layer number four. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a polished black stone uh, brick wall on top of this slab right here. We then want to go and place down a smooth sandstone top slab going forward from it. And we want to go and then go back from it one, two, th and three. We're going to go and then go out to the sides here. One, two, three, four, five of top slabs. And over here, one, two, three, four, five. Then on top of these sandstone stairs here, we're going to place down a row of three across. To the sides here, on top of these trap doors, we're going to place down an upside down sandstone stair to both sides. And we're going to then go one, two, three, four, virtual trap doors forward. Same thing over here, one, two, three, four. After we have that all done, uh, we're going to then grab our iron trap doors. We're going to place down a row of three of iron trap doors on top of the anvil and top slab right there. For uh, these uh, kind of uh, boxes here, we're going to place down basically another layer up. So two smooth sandstone blocks here on both sides and then two sandstone walls in the center. Same thing over here. However, this time we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some black or some polished black stone buttons. We're going to place them down on the sides here, like so. And we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some item frames with black beds and birchwood signs. And we're going to place down an item frame here on these two blocks, a black bed in that item frame, and then a birchwood sign on the side of it, like so. And right there's going to basically be these little fence here on these boxes. Moving back to this section here, uh, we want to go and then place down a uh, birchwood fence gate, which is going to be on top of these two birchwood uh, fence posts, and we're going to have the fence gate opened up toward the rear of the trailer, like that to both sides, and then an end rod there in the center. We then want to go ahead and grab a wither skeleton skull. We're going to place that coming off the side here of these two boxes, just like that. And we want to go and then grab our sandstone walls, and we're going to place down a row of three of sandstone walls across. We're going to go and grab ourselves item frames again. We're going to place an item frame on both ends of that row, followed by a smooth sandstone block in those item frames, and then a birchwood sign over the side of those walls, just like that. Once that's all done, we're going to then grab our birchwood stairs. We're going to place down a birchwood upside down stair, come off the center upside down stair there. And then the both sides of it, we're going to place down a skeleton skull, 
like so. We then want to place down a smooth sandstone block here in the center, followed by a birch wood upside down stair again to both sides. Once we have that done, we're going to place down there birch wood upside down stair, followed by a smooth sandstone top slab to both sides, and then a row of three of smooth sandstone top slabs across the back here. After that, we're going to then place down a polished black stone brick uh, slab in this section. She just making sure it looks like it could be a little bit different. So we're going to go ahead and lay off that slab there for the time being. And then right here is kind of where we start to see the differences between the two sides. Um, so we're going to leave this as is for right now. And we're going to come back to that when we do basically the um, kind of transit mode and then the, um, you know, erect the mode. We then want to go ahead and go to the sides here. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, three, four and five iron trap doors and then come out those five iron trap doors we're going to place down an additional five out to the side we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some levers and we're going to place down levers here on the bottom of these iron trap doors and have the lever facing so it connects up to those stairs like that and same thing over here as well so one two three four five and one two three four five and again our levers here like so and once we have that all done there, that is going to basically wrap up what we have there for layer number four for the build. And uh, with that, we'll go ahead and uh, move into our last final layers uh, for the trailer. All right, guys, moving into our final layers for the trailer itself, uh, we have layers five through eight. For these layers to go ahead and get started with, we're going to go and go to this front section up here. We're going to go and take our anvils and we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. In the space in between them, we're going to go and place down a row of four of the birchwood top slabs just like that. Now once we have that all done, we want to go ahead and then go up from it and we're going to take our smooth sandstone blocks and place basically a 4 by 3 rectangle of smooth stone sandstone blocks. And same thing going up again another level just like this. And it's going to form this box on the top here. On the side facing toward the front, we're going to go ahead and place down two item frames, two smooth sandstone blocks in those item frames, and then we're going to go up again, again two smooth sandstone blocks and item frames and birch wood signs on the sides of those blocks as well on the top there once we have that done we're going to go to the side we're going to go and grab ourselves some polished black stone buttons we're going to place down a polished black stone button in item frame and then two polished black stone buttons after that same thing over here just like that we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves an orange stained glass plant paint and we're going to place down orange stained glass paint in this section here and rotate it around on its side so it kind of forms a bit of like a caution or hazard type kind of symbol there. Then on the back here, uh, we're gonna make one, some simple adjust, adjustments, sorry. We're gonna place down a loom where these blocks are and then a stripped birchwood uh, piece right there. We're gonna go and replace our polish buttons here on the sides. And we wanna go and then grab ourselves some birchwood trap doors and place down a row of two going up along the sides here. So just like that. And then we wanna place down a, or a trip bar hook there in the center. Once that's done, going up to the top up here, we're going to go and grab ourselves some levers and some trap doors. We're going to place down a lever on top of this block, which is going to be facing forward. And then a lever on top of this block, facing toward the rear. We're going to go and then take our birchwood trap doors, place down one, two, three, four. On the side here, one, two. And then one, two, three, four on the other side like that. And then uh, once we get to this point, we're going to go and then grab ourselves some end rods and some chains. We're going to place down an end rod on top of these stairs, or two end rods going up. We're going to go ahead and place down an end rod on top of this trap door here. And then the middle space, so this trap door here, we're going to place down two end rods up as well. Same thing for this side as well. And then once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and take chains and just place down two chains going between the end rods all the way around. And just like that. And we have our little uh, front section, which I believe is the generator complete. With that done, uh, the only thing we need to do here is to go to this midsection and just add a few blocks onto it. We're going to go, and go to the top of these boxes. We're going to place down two rows of three of virtual trap doors on top of them like so. And the final thing we need to do here is to go ahead and go to these fence ga gates right here. And we're going to place down a skeleton skull on top of them, just like that. And once we have that all done, that's pretty much it for the trailer. And uh, right there, we'll complete uh, basically layers five through eight for the trailer. And from here on out, we're going to go and move into our different sections now for the tutorial. So we're going to be starting with the deployed version. 
and then uh, you can check the description for timestamps if you do want to build the transit version. So uh, you'll have both those accessible to yourself. Uh, so go ahead and skip forward to whichever one you want to build and let's go ahead and get started with the uh, deployed version. Alright guys, go ahead and move it into making the deployed version. So for the deployed version here, we're going to start off with the um, stabilizing legs. To begin with, we want to go ahead and go to this um, scene stone wall right here. We're going to place down a birch wood slab that comes off of it. We're going to go ahead and drop down to a birch wood top slab, followed by a birch wood fence post. And then underneath that birch wood fence post, we're going to, go ahead and place down a smooth sandstone block in the ground like so. We then want to go ahead and go up from this uh, fence post with a wall. And we're going to go ahead and take birch wood signs and wrap around this sandstone wall. After that, we want to go and then place down a birchwood trapdoor on top of this wall, followed by a birchwood slab, and then a birchwood top slab. Coming off this top slab, we're going to place down a birchwood fence gate, and we want to go and then take birchwood signs and place it on the side of the fence gate and the side of the slab. Same thing over here, like so. After that's done, we're going to then place down an end rod, come off this birchwood log right here, and then a skeleton skull come off the side of the slab. Same thing over here, like that. And that right there is going to basically do it for your front legs. Now your rear legs are pretty much the same thing. So we're going to go pretty much do the exact same thing. We're going to start off by going ahead and going off from this uh, this wall right here with a slab. We're going to drop down to a top slab and then a birchwood fence post. We're going to place a nice boost sandstone block underneath it. A sandstone wall up from it. And birchwood signs wrapped around the sandstone wall like so. After that we're going to place down a birchwood trap door on top here. Birchwood slab back, top slab, and then a birchwood fence gate. We're going to go, and go to the sides of the fence gate and the slab here. We're going to place down two signs. On the inside section here, we're actually going to place down a birchwood fence gate in this section and open it up toward the stair. And then we're going to place down a sign here on the side of this slab, like so. Once that's all done, we're going to place down a skeleton skull, come off the sides of these, uh, or both sides of those slabs there, and then the end rod go back from the skulls, like so. And without a complete there, um, that is going to pretty much wrap it up for the legs here. You're going to take the same legs and copy it over to the other side. I'm not going to do it um, just because yeah, I've already kind of showed you guys how to do it. So just go ahead and copy the same leg designs over to the other side. And we'll come back and start working on the actual rocket pods. And as you can see, we have the legs flipped over to both sides. And we are pretty much good to go. So basically when it comes down to this point, we're going to be going ahead and now working on these missile pods. Now, definitely the deployed version is a lot more challenging, as you can tell, uh, compared to basically this the transit mode. Uh, so we're going to work through this. It's going to take a little bit of time, but uh, just be patient and we'll get through it, no problem. So to begin with, we'll be going ahead and going to this section here. And do, I do apologize in advance if I have to take some frequent looks in between the two designs, as it's kind of a complex design. Um, doesn't really look like it, but it, it definitely is, so just want to make sure I get everything right. To begin with, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a black uh, stone brick slab, like that. And once we have that done, we're going to then take our birch wood top slabs. We're going to place down a row of three across. So one, two, three across this section here. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves skeleton skulls. We're going to place down a skeleton skull on the side here. And then one like this. Same thing over here. Skeleton skull and then one going back like that. After we have that done, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull. Come off those two slabs and then a black stone brick uh, top slab right there in that section. Once we have that done, on top of these birchwood uh, trap door, or top slabs, we're going to place down a birchwood, stripped birchwood log, or just, sorry, stripped birchwood. And then coming off of it, we're going to place down a birchwood trap door going toward the rear. Now in the center space, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a sand snow wall. Once we have that done, we're going to take our stripped birchwood and we're going to place down a row of three across. And one thing that's very important to make sure you do is you definitely want to make sure that you keep the blocks oriented the same direction. So as you can see, we have the grain here and the wood facing upwards. We don't want it kind of facing different directions and all that stuff because it kind of looks weird. So just to make sure you have your grain facing the same direction. Anyways, uh, once we get to this point, we're going to then grab ourselves a sandstone, uh, spruce sandstone stair. We're going to place it on both sides there. And we want to go ahead and then place down a sign on the sides of those stairs. We're going to go ahead and need to grab ourselves an item frame. We're going to place down an item frame on the side of the stair. Any smooth sandstone block in the item frame. Same thing over here on this side as well. 
Now, uh, we're going to then take our black stone slabs. We're going to place down a top slab in between this section here, and then a slab that comes down like so. Also, we're going to place down a spoon sandstone top slab in between those stairs like that. Now, once we get to this point, we're going to go and start uh, working our way out to the sides here. We're going to place down a birchwood fence gate right here, followed by a fence gate that's opened up toward this block here. Same thing over here, fence gate, and then one fence gate going forward like so. After we have that done, we're going to then uh, go up from this uh, block right here with a birchwood slab on both sides. And we want to go and then place down a birchwood uh, block right there in the center. We're going to go and then go forward with a row of three of birchwood blocks. Again, make sure our angle is the same there. And looks good. We then want to go ahead and take our smooth sandstone blocks. We're going to place down a... Or sorry, my bad. Actually, our strip birch wood. We're going to go and do another row of three. And then we're going to go and take our smooth sandstone blocks and place down a row of uh, three going across. After that, uh, we want to go and then place down a... Or sorry, it's actually going to be a sandstone top slab in the center. And then a block to both sides. And then a top slab to both sides. Just like that. So you get kind of this indent here in the center. Now, once we have that all done, uh, we want to go and then go to the sides here of this slab, place it on a fence gate, open it up toward it, fence gate here, and a fence gate on the side right there as well. Same thing over here, fence gate opened up toward the slab, fence gate, and then another fence gate opened up toward this block, just like that. Now once we have uh, that complete, we're going to go and then place down a birchwood top slab, which is going to be coming off this slab here, going back on both sides here. On the sides of it, we're going to go and take our skeleton skulls, we're going to place down a skeleton skull here, and then one right here, same thing over here, skeleton skull. And then one going back like that. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves wither skeleton skulls, dark oak wood fence gates, and also some skeleton skulls. We're going to place down a skeleton skull in the center, an air brick fence post, or um, wither skeleton skull to both sides, followed by a air brick fence post going up from this black stone slab, and then a dark oak wood fence gate in between those two um, wither skeleton skulls opened up toward the um, skeleton skull like that. Once we get to this point, we're going to go and then take a birchwood, or strip birchwood piece, and we're going to place it on top of these birchwood top slabs. And then in between them, we want to go and place down a sandstone wall. So just like that. Then coming off those blocks, we're going to go and place down a birchwood trapdoor on both sides. After that, we want to go and then place down another row of three of birchwood, strip birchwood going across. We're going to go and then place down a strip birchwood block in the center here followed by a birchwood top slab to both sides and we want to go and then place down a uh, birchwood slab to both sides like that. After that uh, we're going to go and then place down a smooth sandstone block on both sides followed by a sandstone slab in the center. We're going to go and then place down a another smooth sandstone block going forward followed by a uh, smooth sandstone block there in the center as well and we want to go and then place down a uh, sandstone, uh, another smooth sandstone block on both sides, like this, and a sandstone top slab there in the center, and then a sandstone top slab coming off both sides, like that. So it should look like this here on the inside, and then like this from basically up above here. Uh, once we get to this point, we're going to then go toward the back here. We're going to go and place down a birchwood slab on top of these two blocks, like that. We're going to place down a birchwood fence gate coming off the side of those slabs. Also from the previous kind of layer, we're going to place on a fence gate coming off the side of this block, followed by a fence gate like that, and then a fence gate opened up toward that slab like so. And same thing over here, just like that. After that's done, uh, we want to go and then grab our smooth, or sorry, our birch, strip birchwood. We're going to place down a strip birchwood block to both sides here, birchwood slab there in the center. We're going to go and then place down a smooth sand snow block. Uh, that's going to be like this to both sides, and then a top slab there in the center. Uh, we're going to then go forward with a top slab on both sides of this, of those full blocks, just like that, going forward. We then want to place down a, uh, what is going to be a slab, like this to both sides, followed by a smooth sandstone full block, and then a slab there in the space in between them. We're going to go then place down a another smooth sandstone full block to both sides, followed by a smooth sandstone full block there in the center. 
And we're going to then place down a nurse boost sandstone full block to both sides here, followed by a top slab there in the center in between them. And then we just want to place down a birch wood top slab coming off both sides like that. Once we get to this point, uh, we want to go ahead and then go to this section here. We're going to place down a birch wood uh, fence gate on the side of this block as well. And we're going to have this opened up like so. And same thing over here like that. Now, uh, once we get to this point, we're going to go and then take our slabs. We're going to place down a slab on top of this uh, on top of this block right here. So a stone slab or smooth sandstone slab to both sides, followed by two smooth sandstone blocks to both sides, and then slab there in the center. We're going to go ahead and then place down a smooth sandstone block again to both sides, followed by a top slab there in the center. After that, we want to go ahead and then place down a sandstone slab to both sides. Or sorry, a sandstone top slab to both sides like that. We're going to go then place down a sandstone slab to both sides. Followed by a smooth sandstone block to both sides here. And then a sandstone slab there in the center like so. We then want to go ahead and grab our birch, strip birch wood. And we're going to be placing down a row of one, two, and three across the center there. We're going to place down an additional row of three across like so and then we want to go and place down a birchwood um, top slab there to both ends and also this block right here we're going to swap out for a top slab as well so it keeps that pattern going all the way up once we have that done we're going to place down a birchwood fence gate open up on the side of the slab here to both sides and then our fence gate going back and our fence gate opened up like so again same thing over here on this side uh, after that going ahead and going up to our Next uh, level up, we're going to place down a sandstone slab here on both sides, followed by a smooth sandstone full block again to both sides, a slab there in the center. We're going to place down a smooth, smooth sandstone full block to both sides and a top slab there in the center. We then want to go ahead and transition to a birchwood top slab on both sides. We're going to go and then place down a row three of smooth, uh, or basically of stripped birchwood. Actually, sorry, it's going to be a row one with a birchwood slab on both sides. Uh, after that, we're going to go and then place down a row of two of strip birch wood going all the way across here. And then when we get to the section, we're going to place down a strip birch wood piece on top of those two top slabs there, and then a sandstone wall in between them, like so. And then come off those, we're just going to very simply place down a birch wood trap door, like this, coming off those toward the front. After that, we're going to place down a birch wood fence gate to the side here, fence gate closed, and then our fence gate directly after that. We're going to go ahead and go over here and do the same thing. So, fence gate opened up toward the block fence gate closed and then our fence gate opened up like so. Now once we get to this point, again continuing to go up, we're going to go to this section here and place down a sandstone slab on top of this block, get into both sides there. We're going to go then place down a strip birchwood block to both sides, followed by a birchwood slab there in the very center. Once we have that done, we're going to take our um, blocks and we're going to go and do a row of three of strip birchwood blocks across, followed by a uh, birchwood slab on top of those two blocks on the sides there. We then want to go ahead and place down a strip birchwood block here in the center, birchwood top slab to both sides, and then a row of three of birchwood full blocks across the top there. We're going to go ahead and place down a birchwood slab on top of these two blocks here, and then a skeleton skull come off the center block just like that. Once that's done, go into the sides here and place down a birchwood fence gate open up toward that slab, fence gate closed, and our fence gate opened up toward it. And on top here, we're going to place down two fence gates open up toward those two blocks. So same thing down here, just like that on uh, both sides there. And then we're going to also take our birchwood trapdoors and we're going to place down a trapdoor closed like that. And also this center block is actually going to be a birchwood slab. So it should look something like that there for the top there for our missiles. And we're going to now move into some of the detailing. So that's it for our pods all together. We're going to go ahead and now focus our attention over here to basically the right side and this is going to be basically the right side only and what this is is, is basically the antenna mass which allows the uh, missile system to communicate and receive kind of fire controls and solutions and all that stuff from basically the command vehicles so for this we're going to be going ahead and going to this sandstone slab here i'm going to place tiny sandstone wall coming off of it followed by a birchwood fence gate going forward from it uh, we're going to go and then take signs, and we're going to go ahead and wrap signs around the sides of the fence gate. 
and also this one side of the wall. Now once we have that done, we're going to go up from the fence gate with a sandstone upside down stair. On the side of it, we're going to place down a birchwood sign, a item frame, and then a smooth sandstone block in the item frame. And we're going to go then place down a sandstone wall up. We're going to go up in an additional one, two, three, and four sandstone walls up. So one, two, three, four. And then we're going to go up uh, one, two, three, four birchwood fence gates. We're going to take our birchwood signs, wrap them around the sides here of the walls, and also the sides of the fence gates. So just like this. And we can also place it on the inside here as well. Now we're going to then place down a skeleton skull on top of this wall. And we're going to then go up from our birchwood fence gates. One, two, and three more additional fence gates. On the very top here, we're going to place down a sandstone upside down stair. Followed by a birchwood fence gate or fence post up. A iron bar on top here of that fence post. And we want to go then place down a trip bar hook coming off the back of the stair. And that's going to basically do it for your uh, radio mast. Now once we have that done, uh, we do have some other extra little detailing. So we're going to go and make these signs here. We're going to use birchwood. We're going to go and go to this block. And we're going to go and type in all caps forward. We're actually going to go and take this down to the second line. And we're going to type forward. We then want to go ahead and go down to the bottom line. We're going to go and do this character followed by one, two, three dashed lines. And then we can go and space it out to the side here. So the kind of dash there is in line with the F. So it looks something like this. And we're, that's going to make this sign here. And we're going to put this sign on this block here. And also going up to here to this section, this block, and uh, this block right here as well. And basically what that is, is it basically is just for indications and stuff like that, little stencils on the side of the rocket pods, basically showing the correct positioning of them. And then we want to go and take birchwood buttons, and on the side here, we're just going to go ahead and place down birch buttons wherever we have full blocks. So just wherever we can fit the full blocks in, we're going to go ahead and put some, or wherever we can fit buttons, we're just going to put them on the side here. Now going ahead and moving over here to the right side, we're going to go ahead and do something very similar. So we're going to go ahead and make our forward signs here, but they are going to be um, spelled out, obviously forward, all caps again. But this time we're going to go ahead and do this line. And we're going to then do one, two, three. And then from this point, we're going to go and then space it out to the side so it's kind of in line with the D. So like that. And we're going to have this sign right here. We're going to take this sign, we're going to place it on that block, this block here, this block, and this block. We then want to go ahead and also make an additional sign, which is going to basically just be this. So real simple for this sign. We're going to go ahead and just go to the center block here, place a birchwood sign. We're going to go and do this line down, skip to the next line, this line, and then we're going to go and do a V. And you kind of get the arrow that faces downwards and that's going to go right here. And we're going to go and take the same sign and put it right here on this block. We then want to take our birchwood buttons and again wherever we can put birchwood buttons, we're just going to go and put them on the side here of the rocket pods just like that. And once we have that all complete there, that is going to basically do it for our deployed version for our MIM-104 Patriot. And uh, definitely a cool looking design, a little complex at times, but overall, really cool looking. Um, actually, one quick thing before we go ahead and wrap it up, I actually forgot to do the supporting arms here, which is kind of a big deal. Um, so basically to do these supporting arms real quick, we're going to go ahead and go to this section. We're going to place down a sandstone wall on top of those two um, skulls there. We're going to go then place down an end rod in between them. And then we're going to go and take birchwood signs and wrap them around these two sides of the wall. Like that. We then want to go ahead and go up from those walls at an angle, placing down a birchwood fence post. So like this, going up from both sides here, and then there a birchwood fence post that kind of goes up and connects up to this uh, smooth sandstone full block like that. And uh, we then want to go ahead and go in space in between the um, two fence posts up here, and we're going to place down an end rod in between them. And that right there is it for those supporting arms there that kind of raise and lower the um, you know actual uh, rocket system. Anyways, that right there is now going to do it for the deployed version for the MIM-104 Patriot system. And I uh, hope you guys do enjoy the design. With that, we're going to go ahead and move into basically showing how to build the uh, mobile version or the transported one. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into the transported one. Um, so, to go ahead and begin with this one, just like we did for our uh, deployed one, we're going to be going ahead and start off with our hydraulic 
uh, legs and gain those positioned in the correct directions. To begin with, we're going to go ahead and go into this wall right here. We're going to place down a sandstone, or I'm sorry, a birchwood sign on the side of the stair. We're going to go ahead and place down a birchwood up the stair coming off of it, on top of it, followed by a birchwood sign coming off the side of the stair. We then want to go ahead and go up from that, placing down a sandstone wall, a birchwood trapdoor coming off the side of the wall, followed by another sandstone wall up. We're going to go ahead and then go to the inside section here, and we're going to place down a bir we're going to delete this iron trapdoor, place down a birchwood fence post. And then a second fence post up from it. On top of the fence post, we're going to place down a skeleton skull. And then an end rod out to the side there like so. We're going to go ahead and place down a birch with trapdoor. Turn off the end rod. And that's going to basically create this leg here. We then want to go ahead and go to the sides here. Of these two um, birchwood uh, logs here. We're going to place down a skeleton skull to both sides. Coming off of them, end rod up. And then a skeleton skull coming off the side of those sandstone walls. Like so. And uh, for this section here, we will need to delete this sign that's over the bed. So we're just going to delete that and then place down our um, skeleton skull in that space right there. Go into the back one, it's pretty much exactly the same. So we're going to go ahead and go place a sign on the side of this wall. Birchwood up, sand stair up, sign on the side of the stair. Uh, two sandstone walls up. Two birchwood fence gates up. A skeleton skull on top of the, the uh, fence post here. End rod to the side. Birchwood trap door coming off the end rod. And then we want to go and place down a virtual trapdoor, come off this wall here. On the sides, skeleton skull on these two blocks, end rod going up, and then a skeleton skull come off the side of those two sandstone walls, just like that. And that's all you really need to do for those uh, legs. You're going to go ahead and do the same thing for these legs over here onto the left side of the build. So I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead, let you guys do that real quick, and then we're going to go ahead and move on to actually covering the launcher. All right, guys, so as you can see, we have our legs lifted up all the way around, and we are pretty much going to go ahead and make the uh, rocket pods and all that stuff. So to go ahead and get started with, we're going to go ahead and go into this section here. We're going to go ahead and place down a black, polished black stone upside down stair, come out those two slabs, and then a smooth sandstone top slab there in the center. We're going to go ahead and place down a wither skeleton skull, come off that slab going toward the back. Once we have that done, uh, we want to go ahead and then go up from these. We're going to place down a birchwood upside down stair on top of this uh, black stone uh, upside down stair. And then the space in between those, we're going to go and take a sandstone wall and we're going to place down a sandstone wall in between those stairs. Now coming off each one of these birchwood stairs, we're going to place down a black or a wither skeleton skull to both sides and then a dark oak with fence gate in between those uh, skulls and then open up toward the uh, sandstone wall. After that's done, we're going to then place down a Birchwood upside down stair going forward on both sides, followed by a stripped uh, birchwood block there in the center. We're going to go ahead and place down a smooth sandstone block to both sides, and there's a smooth sandstone block in the center, so just a row three across. Item frame on both ends with a smooth sandstone full block on the sides here, and then a birchwood sign on the side of the block as well for the sides here. Alright guys, from this point, go ahead and continue on. We're going to go and take our uh, smooth sandstone top slabs. We're going to place down a row of 1, 2, th 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 top slabs going forward. We're going to go and then go to the sides here. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, and then delete this skeleton school and 5 uh, smooth sandstone upside down stairs. Same thing over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then delete this skeleton school and then 5 upside down stairs. We then want to go ahead and delete these three birchwood trapdoors on both sides. And we're going to go ahead and place down a row of 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3 birchwood upside down stairs. Once we get to this point, go ahead and move up, or go ahead and move into the back here real quick. We're going to place down a skeleton skull on the side of this stair, and then a skull coming off the side of the wither skeleton skull. Same thing over here as well, just like that. Once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and go up from this section here. We're going to place down a sandstone wall, and then a stripped birchwood block to both sides. We're going to place down a trip virtual trapdoor coming off the uh, backs there of those blocks. Once we have that done, we're going to place down a row of three of strip birchwood logs or blocks across and then a row of three. Make sure the grains are all facing the same direction as it kind of creates a more consistent look there on the side of the vehicle. We then want to grab our fence gates and we're going to go ahead and place down a row or a fence gate here opened up on both ends and then a fence gate there in the center. Same thing over here, just like that. We then want to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 5 rows of 3. A smooth sandstone blocks filling this space in across the center. We're going to go then take our stripped birchwood, place down a 
row three here, row three here, and a row three here. To the sides, fence gates, fence gate closed, fence gate opened, like that on the sides. Then for the very front here, we're going to place down a sandstone wall, actually, where this block is, and then we're going to place down a birch wood trap door to both sides of it. Go ahead and go into the back here again and work our way up. We're going to place down another uh, stripped birch wood along to both sides, and there's sandstone wall in the center. We're going to place down a uh, dark oak wood fence gate, which is going to be coming off this sandstone wall. And we also want to place down an air brick fence post in between those fence gates like so. We're going to go then place down a bare skeleton skull coming off the sides of those two blocks. After that's done, we're going to go and place down a skeleton skull on the side of this block, and then an air skeleton skull back, same thing over here, like that to both sides. After that, uh, we're going to go and place down one, two, three, birchwood logs across, and then one, two, three, again. We're going to go and then place down a birchwood trap, or a birchwood fence gate, and then one fence gate opened up like that. Same thing over here. We then want to take our top slabs, we're going to place down a row of three of sandstone top slabs, followed by a second row of three, a third row, a fourth, and then a fifth row of three going across there like so. We're going to go and then take our stripped birch wood, we're going to place down one, two, three, one, two, three, and then a sandstone wall in the center, and uh, block like that to both sides there like so. We then want to grab our fence gates, fence gate open, closed, open and open, closed, open. Then uh, going up to our next layer up, we're going to place down an air strip birch wood block here on both sides here, on the back. Sandstone wall in the center, and then trap doors come off those two blocks, just like that. Once we have that done, we're going to go and place down a row of three. Strip birch wood going across, followed by a second row of three. And then our fence gates to the sides, like so. We're going to go then take our sandstone walls. Actually, we're going to replace the two blocks here in the center with sandstone walls. And we're going to go and take our sandstone walls and go forward 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we're going to then take our smooth sandstone along the side here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're going to go then take our strip birchwood 1, 2, 3. And 1, 2, 3. And we're just going to go and place down a birchwood trapdoor on the ends here. Fence gate like that. Closed, open. Uh, open, closed, open. Uh, last thing for us to do on the top here is to go and place down one, two, three trapdoors, one, two, three in our birch wood, and then same thing over here, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Now for the sides here, we do have additional little bit of detail we can do. So for this, uh, we're going to go and grab some birch wood signs. We're going to go and go to the side here, uh, the right side to begin with. We're going to go and place another sign here, and we're going to go and skip this second line, and we're going to type forward in all caps. We're going to go ahead and then drop down to this, the third line here. We're going to do one, two, three dashes, and then a arrow like this facing forward. We're going to go ahead and then space this out so it's in line with the D, like so. And that's going to be this sign, and we're going to go and put this sign up here in the front as well, on these two blocks, and also on this uh, top one as well. And then we're going to go and grab our next sign, and we're going to go and do a sign here in the middle. We're going to go and do a line down, followed by another line down, and then a V. That's going to be an arrow facing downwards, and we're just going to do the same thing up here. So just like that. And we can then go ahead and grab ourselves a birchwood button, and on the remaining smooth sandstone blocks here on the side, we're going to place down birchwood buttons. So just like that. Over here to the other side, we're going to do pretty much the exact same thing. So we're going to go ahead and place down our arrows, like so, and we're going to go ahead and make our forward signs. So we're going to go and do forward on the second line here, all caps again. And we're going to then do our kind of a symbol like this. And then one, two, three. And then we're going to space it out so it's in line with the F. So just like that. And we're going to take this same sign here and put it in our four corners around. And then our birchwood buttons in their main spaces. Before we go ahead and wrap up the tutorial, I did forget one uh, aspect of the build. And I want to go ahead and make sure that we uh, get the transferred over because it it's kind of a important piece and that's going to basically be this uh, kind of the mask that is present on the deployed version but uh, you can see here that we need to add this onto the side here. So to go ahead and get started with here we're going to go ahead and go into the middle sandstone stair here. We're going to place down a sandstone upside stair coming off it. An item frame, a smooth sandstone blocking the item frame and a birchwood sign on the side of it. We're going to place an end rod going back from it on the side here and then we're going to place down one, two, delete these three iron trap doors, three, four and we're going to then place down a sandstone wall 
and then a end rod like that going forward there. After that's done, we're going to then take our sandstone walls. We're going to go and delete this button up here. This sign, this button, this sign, and this button. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five sandstone walls going forward. And then we're going to go and delete this virtual trapdoor and place down a skeleton skull. So this is going to be on the left side of the missile system and the left side only. And this is just simply the mass that's on the extent or on the deployed version which just extends up and receives communications and stuff like that from uh the command vehicles and stuff like that to fire so anyways that right there is going to now finish off the uh mobile ver or yeah the mobile version for the uh m i m 104 patriot system and with that that is going to conclude my tutorial for both the deployed and mobile versions for the MIM-104 Patriot surface-to-air missile system. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do want to use this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This means thank you for the sign of the build, doing to my channel or this video if this does appear on your social media sites. And as long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to use your favorite projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. Um, and uh, again, big special thanks to Patreon supporter Assassin's Creed for making this tutorial possible. And as always, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions. With that, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett204, and I'll see you guys next time.